The first thing you have to do is decide what you're going to draw the free body diagram of. Clearly we're going to draw include A, B, but are you going to include the wheel or are you going to include the handle? What are you going to do? If we don't include the handle, it's very difficult to figure out how to exactly put on the 200 newton load. But if we go ahead and include the handle out here, this is 250, this is 75 centimeters, now I can actually just copy the applied load from where it was. I can again copy in your your distances. You mustn't forget those. At the bearings you're going to have clearly resistances in the two perpendicular directions in both places because the pipe can't move through those bearings. So we're going to have a BY and a BX in those directions in each case. You don't need moments because you have two bearings in sequence, and as soon as you have that, the moments would be just redundant. We do need to know whether we're going to have an axial load. In this case, we're told that the bearing at A is a thrust bearing, so I also have an AZ load because A is a thrust bearing. This one, B, is a journal bearing, which means there is no axial load there. The only other decision you have to make is what are you going to do with that wheel. You can either include the wheel, in which case what you need to have is the 100 distance, you need the weight, which is mg, and it acts out at the tangent to the circle line, and you don't need a moment. Alternately, you could at the end put on just a mg at the load, but then you also need to include the fact that this is tending to turn the rod along its length so you would have to put on a moment about its length in the same direction, which would be 100 mg. So either this one or this one at the end, but not both, one or the other.